All right, welcome back to another video, y'all. We are back, and today we're gonna be doing a video about how to make your own team logo for Fortnite or for your clan. Now, we're gonna be using Pixlr today, so you don't have to download anything. You don't have to download Photoshop. Uh, you can just go to pixlr.com, it's a website. You can go to that website and just start working right away. And I've made videos like this before, but I've seen a lot of comments just asking me to do more like this. But before we get into the video, if you guys could go ahead and just please hit that subscription button. It really helps out the channel and it really keeps me motivated to make more content for you guys. And if you guys haven't already watched my announcement video, I am uploading a lot more often now and scheduling uploads. So if you guys like the consistent content, please make sure to leave a comment or support me. So yeah, we'll jump right into the video. So we're on pixlr.com. Now I'm just gonna do something very simple for you guys because you guys really don't need anything really special when you're starting out a clan you know every clan starts somewhere you know you think about phase think about optic uh, you think about a lot of teams and they have very simple logos you guys really don't need anything super special just to start out now if you guys start growing a lot you guys can download Photoshop download a nicer software and make some nicer stuff but in all reality, you can make very simple stuff with Pixlr, and that really is all you need to get started. So we're gonna jump right into the video. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm on pixlr.com. I'm gonna hit open image from computer, and you guys can kind of follow the steps that I'm taking to make this and make something similar if you want. It's up to you. So I already have all of the images downloaded for this, so I would recommend you guys go and find all the images that you want before you start this, um, everything you wanna work with, because it's a lot easier when you already have everything in a folder and you're just working from what you already have. So you can just start going to town on what you wanna make. So I'm gonna open image from computer and I'm gonna choose the background Now it's very simple and I don't know in my opinion simplicity is key when you guys are making stuff like this Because there's a lot of clans just doing crazy stuff uh, iOS designs and stuff like that So in my honest opinion you guys should just make something very simple but looks very nice So I used to own a team. Uh, I still own it I'm not really super active on it just because YouTube takes up a lot of my time So I'm just gonna go off of that my team name is team cloaks. So TC for short so I have this right now. It's just a background, right? I just found this image. It's a Fortnite image. I just Googled light blue Fortnite background and I found this. So my honest opinion for you guys, and I, I just made a video on my channel a few days ago. You guys can go check it out. I'll leave a card up there if you want to watch it. But it's basically just a video on fonts and my favorite fonts and how important certain fonts are. So a font can make or break your design. And I think that if you have a cool font, you can really make something super dope and something super simplistic for yourself. So in that video, I actually showed you guys a certain font that I really like, and it's called Dream MMA. So if I scroll down here and I find Dream MMA, I'm just gonna put T for Team Cloaks. I'm just gonna have lowercase. And then I'm gonna change it to white. So I would suggest for you guys, when you're making a team, or a team logo, or you're kind of in the creation of it, to choose a certain color scheme and kind of stick to that. And I think it looks really nice if you have that same color scheme across all social medias. So I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger, add a space before and after to make sure none of the letters actually cut out, because I don't know why Pixar does that sometimes. And then I'm just gonna drag it over here and have this. So then I need the C because I'm doing Team Cloaks. Now, if you guys have like Team Eclipse or Team something like that, you can put TE. Um, if you have like Eclipse GG, you can just have it as an E. You know, that's just an example, but for whatever you guys are doing, um, that's gonna work the best. So then I'm just gonna click on there again, and I'm going to click C. Oh, I forgot you can't have it capitalized for Dream MMA. And I'm gonna leave a space after and a space before, so just again to make sure that the full letter is actually in the picture. I'm gonna change it to white again. I click OK, and then I'm going to drag it around here. So now that I have this, I want to make sure it's centered in the actual image. So a lot of the times when I'm centering things, I use the arrow keys on my keyboard to just kind of move it a little bit and kind of just nudge it around where I like it. Um, it's a little easier than actually just dragging it. Uh, you can get more precise location and everything like that. So I'm just going to drag this. I can't remember where exactly I want it. I think I want the T to just be touching a little bit. All right, so this is what I have so far, TC for Team Cloaks. Very simplistic, and from here, you guys can just save this and use this. You guys can just add like borders around here. If you right click on the letter and you go ahead and hit just layer styles, you can add a drop shadow, if you guys can see that. Um, you can add an outer glow to it too. Um, you know, all sorts of things like that. I'm gonna keep it a little bit simplistic for you guys to kind of let you guys on your own kind of do whatever you want with it. So if I wanna make this same, I'm gonna hit a drop shadow on this as well. There we go. And then from here, you guys can go on Google and you can find all sorts of uh, transparent like graphics. Um, you can Google transparent flames or transparent electric. 
and you guys can go ahead and just add that behind the logo or if you just want it to be simplistic kind of like what i do uh, you kind of just leave it like this i'll give you guys a few examples i'm gonna hit layer open image as layer and then i have this one as well so i'm just gonna edit free transform and hold shift when i drag it so it doesn't change the shape at all and i'm just gonna add it there so i'm gonna show you guys something different that i haven't shown you in other videos so if you have this background like this background png that's right behind the letters and you're thinking well you know i like this image but it's not really looking like it really works the color really works with the rest of my image or the rest of my logo you guys can make sure you have that layer highlighted and you can hit um i believe it's image or no it's adjustment yeah so if you go under adjustment you find all these sorts of things um there's lots of things you guys can mess with on your free time if you'd like um, but i'm just going to show you hue and saturation for now so if i click on hue and saturation so now that i'm in hue and saturation i can click colorize and i can sort of mute, move the hue around to fit whatever kind of color i really want so i'm thinking that maybe like a light blue and honestly i would recommend you guys just mess with it until you find something that you like um, you can change the brightness of it um, i'll probably change the brightness up a little bit and then i'll probably just change the hue so i kind of want it to be like light blue all right so it's looking a little bit better all right so i got an image behind it i had the letters so now i'm just going to add a few finishing touches to this design all right so i don't think i'm actually going to keep this image behind it it's just i don't know it's just not really sitting right with me it doesn't look as good as i really want it so i'm probably just going to delete it i don't know if you guys really understand what i'm trying to say but you guys can just find so many different things on the internet and so many different you know transparent images you guys can make your own but i feel like just this alone with the letters even without a drop shadow you guys can add a drop shadow you know it's just optional you guys can do whatever you like but i think this just looks better than a lot of ones that are already out there so then if i want to kind of make two versions of it i can go ahead and just delete these and maybe keep the c and i'll click on the type tool and i'm going to click on the c and i'm just going to put team I forgot i have to have lowercase team cloaks and actually what you guys can do is just hit enter and or actually i might just keep team and then do it so i'm gonna leave a space after and before so make sure everything shows up and i'm just gonna click okay click the move tool drag it a little bit um i don't think it's gonna let me free transform so i can actually just click on it again change the size to whatever i'd like click okay leave it there and i'm just gonna duplicate the same one and then i'm just gonna drag it down I'm just using the arrow key right now because then I can just keep the centered and I don't have to recenter it at all. So then I'm gonna click the type tool again. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna put cloaks. And I'm gonna click the move tool again and use the arrow keys to kind of make it however I like. And then you have sort of just a regular team post. Not really sort of a logo, but kind of just your name if you guys wanna post this at all. All right, so one more thing before I end the video. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions on how to make your logo a PNG or how to make it transparent so you can use it for other things. And when you guys are making this, this would be my best advice for you guys is to whenever you save it save whatever you want so if i have this here i'm going to save this as you know my logo or my page or whatever you want to name it and then right after i save it i can go to the background i can double click on the unlock because so then you can actually edit it and then you're just going to hit right click and you're going to delete layer and now you guys literally have the transparent png of this and i would recommend doing this for almost every single design that you do because now that i have this i can just hit file save and i can make sure that it's on png otherwise it's going to save as just a white image but hit png name it maybe logo logo team whatever you guys want hit okay and then what you guys are going to want to do is just save it to your desktop or something like that and now you have the transparent image and do this for your logo as well because you can use that image wherever so say i close out of this file new image okay i can go to you know fortnite background and i can go to images you know find something like this you know save desktop or i'll save it in this um folder actually and then i'm gonna hit file i'm actually gonna exit out of this i don't even need to do that but file open and go to my desktop and i'm just gonna find that image that i downloaded all right so i'm just gonna find the image i'm gonna double click it and then you got this thing and then you can just go ahead and click layer open image as layer you can go ahead and find the png that you just downloaded click on it 
and boom you guys have the logo on this you can edit to literally whatever background you like i think that kind of wraps up the video um let me know if you guys want to see different things if you guys want me to do speed arts or anything like that with logos go ahead and leave a comment down below what kind of videos you guys would like to see next uh leave me any criticism or anything you guys would like to see me try to do i love the feedback and also feel free to message me on instagram or twitter um i'm a lot more active on instagram if you guys want to send me any designs and you want my opinions or advice and also if you guys found this video helpful please go ahead and hit that subscription and like button it really helps out the channel and i'll catch you guys in another video peace so come over tonight ain't nobody home